You know, students in Baton Rouge, Louisiana are also charged up about today's classroom activity. Hi, we're from the Stuart Middle Magnet School in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. NASA Connect asks us to help you understand how to do the student activity for this program. Earlier, we learned that the NASA process experiment uses long conducting wires called tethers. The tethers make electricity that can be used to move satellites. Now, we're going to simulate the research they do at NASA by constructing and using the Make It Go Electrodynamic Demonstration Unit, or EDU for short. First, let's make the EDU. The materials you need, magnets, batteries, wire, and very small light bulbs called light emitting diodes are inexpensive and easy to find. Remember, safety is our number one concern at NASA, so be sure to listen carefully and follow the safety guidelines. Now that the EDU is made, you'll need to make an electrical current level controller for the EDU. The current controller is made using only regular paper and a set of five resistors. Be sure that all your wires are connected correctly. This will create what is called a closed circuit that allows the electricity to flow freely through the EDU. Now you're ready to observe and predict what happens to the light from the LED when you change the amount of electricity flowing through the circuit of your EDU. If the wires are not connected properly, an open circuit exists and the flow of electricity through the EDU is broken. As a class, discuss whether there's a pattern to describe what happens to the brightness of the light when the electricity level increases. The EDU is a model of the actual propulsion system tested in the process mission. You'll use the EDU to observe and understand that if a wire has electricity flowing through it, the wire can actually move if it is placed near a magnet. You'll measure, record, and graph the relationship between the electric current and wire coil movement. Then, you'll analyze the results, just like NASA researchers do. Next, construct the coil as directed in the lesson guide. Add the wire coil along with the magnet to the EDU. Observe what happens to the wire coil's motion when the magnet is present. Looking at your previous set of test results, what do you think will happen to the wire coil when the current level increases? Change the current levels and measure and record the distance that the wire coil moves at each level. Each time you test a new current level, compare the results with your classmates. Average the test results at each current level. After you've completed testing, your teacher will get you started on graphing your data, then help you understand how to analyze your results. Great work class, but how can we display the data that we've collected on a graph? Think about the information we're comparing. Now that we have our graph labeled, one person from each group should come up and graph the average distance the coil moved at each current level. This looks great. What type of graph is this? A bar graph? A line graph? A scatter plot? What was the maximum distance our wire coil moved? What current level produced the greatest movement? Why do you think this is so? Class, can you guess which electricity level the circuit is set on based on how far the wire coil is moving? If I run some more tests, I know that I can find out. Yeah, let's make it go again!